Aunt Jackie making a her blue collar husband a homemade mac and cheese after his 13 hour shift. In what way is this homemade? This is literally a TV dinner, but I guess she's taking the the non homemadeness and turning it into a homemade through the process of grease and scraping up the Teflon that's on the pan into his. You know, if I'm being honest with you for a second, dude. I would not be surprised if that 13-hour shift is actually not a 13-hour shift, and it's actually just he doesn't want to come home to Jackie and her beautiful, amazing cooking. Uh, somebody put me onto this on my Discord, by the way, if you want to join the Discord. This is a plug for it. It's in the description. And I almost couldn't believe that. I don't know if this is real or not. This could be like rage bait. This could just be major rage bait. And she's just trying to like imbue reaction. Like that one woman that I thought had Down syndrome but didn't actually have Down syndrome. You guys know that woman that has like a whole series of stuff on TikTok. Like, oh, making, making dinner for my one-year-old. Making dinner for my family of eight. Making dinner and it's all terrible, disgusting stuff. Like cutting up a donut eight times and then giving your daughter applesauce, her one-year-old, whatever. It's like that. I don't know if it's rage bait or she's actually making this for her husband, but one thing I do know is, if you didn't know, Aunt Jackie is actually 32, okay? She, this is her. She's 32 years old. This is just what you look like in the UK, okay? When you're 32 years old in the UK, I don't know why people look so goddamn old in the UK. Um, this is her, by the way. You can see her in the corner. Maybe you have like a big picture on your screen right now. But in the UK, even though you guys don't have sun, I don't know if you, like how you guys age so drastically, so, 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 so frequently. I see people in the UK and I think, why are you so brown? Why are you so yellow? Why are you so orange? And it's always this spray tan, I guess. Like you guys spray tan yourself. But this, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, at least she's seasoning it. I've never seen somebody season mac frozen macaroni and cheese before, but she did use the red pepper flakes. I'll give her credit for that. She got double seasoning it. Double seasoning it. <laughs> it's all right to get the front and back. I don't know what meal you're making where you need to get the front and back on a, on a frozen dinner, but got to break it apart with the Teflon, dude. By the way, I don't think, can somebody let me know down below in the comment section? Is it appropriate? I'm, I'm also going to keep it a buck. Uh, she doesn't wash this pan. This pan has forever been fermented in the crustacean of the thing that she cooked previously for her husband. And I also want to point out, she's not cooking any of this food for herself, which I wouldn't be surprised if she was eating it, which is like 90% of the food that she makes is salted up grease in some form of TV dinner uh, that's been thrown in, in, in between. And, uh, but I, is it okay to use metal utensils on a Teflon pan? It's probably, it's not, right? Because you're going to scrape up the pan. Probably use something like plastic or wood since it's going to be a little bit like less tough on the material. So her doing this is like, I mean, not only is she imbuing the beauty and the pure amazingness of her concoction, this culinary concoction, but she's also imbuing it with the Teflon upon the pan. Crazy. Scrape it. Just off. Oh. High heat. Damn. You know, in all honesty, I feel like I've eaten worse food than this, if I'm going to be honest with you for a second. Like, it's, it's actually not the worst. I mean, granted, it's still frozen here. And there's tons and tons of oil within the pan, which seems to be like her calling card is just the oil, the pure amount of oil, the saturated fats. That you, you might as well just go to the grocery store, just pick up like a whole thing of canola and just drink it right while you're at the grocery store. Uh, you'll probably get more nutrition than this. Um, but I will I, I will concede that I've, I think I've eaten worse stuff than this. So the, yeah. <laughs> Gotta throw extra cheese in the macaroni and cheese. Your craft singles, not even good craft singles either, too. She literally just threw it in when it was like not even properly, like not even a full slice, like slices that were like broken in pieces. Look at the love, love, care, joy, right into the mac and cheese, double mac and cheese, bro. Her husband is truly, truly a king with the amount of like the, the, the delicacy that she's crafting for this man, just tossing in the craft cheese right on top. Dang. Oh, you got to salt it, of course. You can't not salt it. Everything needs to be salted. I've never seen somebody salt macaroni and cheese before, but you got to salt it. This is a technique that I feel like I've never unearthed before. This is the type of shit that, like Master Roshi was teaching Goku when he was trying to be like a master of the Kaioken. This is the type of shit that Ra's al Ghul was teaching Batman when he wanted to become literally Batman. This is it right here, okay? Learning from Liam Neeson himself. 
if you're not if you're not salting the macaroni your frozen macaroni and cheese that you're cooking in a, a teflon skillet what are you doing dude you obviously don't know what you're doing scrape it up oh man the dollar store plates too i have a few of these i got a few of these dollar store plates at my house they're literally a dollar i think you can get like i don't even know eight nine ten of them for like a dollar or two dollars at most by the way the, the plate wasn't even the plate was dirty yeah, the plate was already pre-seasoned with whatever dirt was on this. Is it me? You know when somebody washes their clothes? Sorry, when somebody washes the dishes and they give you the dishes and you're going, oh, they just washed the dishes. But the dishes, like you look closely at the dishes, like, wait a minute. This still has the residue of the slop that you made previously. And then it's probably even worse because I know you scrubbed it too. So now I'm getting the slop from what you ate previously, however long ago that was. And then I'm also getting the soap, which is probably like Dawn dish soap, but I know some black guys that don't even do that. I know some black guys that just use the regular default soap you can buy at dollar store, which is fine by the way. I'm pretty sure it's like no difference. Like what, by what degree is soap at the dollar store, the no name, the, the generic version better than the Dawn soap? I guess you can clean more penguins or ducks or something like that. Whatever Dawn did back in like 2011 or whatever. But the the plate here is already pre-seasoned which is a good thing by the way i don't care what anybody says if you're not seasoning your plate why are you even washing let's be honest here for a second you're getting the residue which is a good thing from the previous food stop sleeping on it aunt jackie got the remedy i mean you're probably not gonna wake up from this but damn that scraping up is crazy damn What are we thinking about it okay let's say you did work by the way blue collar is crazy by the way that means this dude is literally working like physical labor <laughs> and he has to come home to his wife his hard-working man working 13 hour shift 13 hours can you imagine physical labor for 13 hours and then coming back home to aunt jackie and her beautiful amazing macaroni and cheese recipe coated in teflon i mean you can you can literally see the Teflon flakes, or that could be just from the food from earlier. And the grease, the grease spewing out of it, it is literally like disconnected from the food itself. Like it's trying to escape. Do you guys see that? It's thick too, because she added an extra two pieces of Kraft Singles on top of that, which is not real cheese, by the way. It's just fake over processed cheese. I don't even think it melts. Like I think if you put Kraft cheese like on a table and just leave it there for like two hours, it won't melt. It'll just stay the same. Kind of like the ice cream sandwiches you can get at Walmart, the ones that just don't melt. It's like that. But what do we rate this on a scale of one to 10? I need to know what you guys think in the comment section. Scale of one to 10, 10 obviously being the highest. What are we rating this dish? beautiful absolutely beautiful man aunt jackie never misses never misses dude um i hope she's also not eating this dude uh and i feel bad for, i'm gonna keep it a buck i'm pretty sure her husband is making that 13 hour shift he probably only has to work for like six or eight and he's just adding up that extra time so he doesn't have to come home and eat this slop beautiful you know when they say like damn bro my girl got that macaroni and cheese you know what i'm talking about my girl got that macaroni and cheese you think it's what they were talking about Hello everyone, Annie Jacket here. So tonight I'm making my husband a cheese roasty look. We love cheese roasters, we do. So it's it's so bad that I almost kind of don't want to believe that it's real. But I've seen so many UK people in my What I Eat in a Day videos that I'm actually not. I I could believe this is true. I could believe that this is an actual woman making this voice. Today we're gonna make roast days because my husband who worked his 13 hour shift. She kind of sounds like, who's that one guy? That guy, he just recently passed away and he, he, he had the, what do you know? That guy, she sounds like a culmination of him and then like maybe Becky Jones. If they like fusion danced and they came together and they created this. So I'm not surprised if this is real. If this was real, I wouldn't be surprised at all. This would just be like a, I get it. You know, this is how this is how people in the UK. I mean, I've seen default UK food. I have. It's not good. 90% of the food I see you guys eat or is just brown or some variations of brown. And like, it's all Neapolitan. That's all it is. From like very light brown to like maybe kind of pink, but still brown. And it's all terrible. It's so much salt in everything. And they... And then you have the audacity to sit there and go, Oi, American food 
It's disgusting. You guys don't have anything over there. All you got is Mackey's and maybe you got Burger King. While I watch you guys probably eat more Burger King and McDonald's than anybody here in America, dude. You guys eat it as if it's like a holiday occasion for you every day. And then you get like those uh, beef rolls or whatever from Greg's. I don't know. And Nando's. Nando's. I gotta get a Nando's. That's what you guys do. A cheese roasty, look. We love cheese roasties, we do. So I put the bread in and... How much more does... It, okay, look. Craft singles are fine if you are very low on the totem pole of, like, I don't care what my food tastes like. It's fine. Craft singles are, like, okay. But I just think... How much, you, how much are craft singles? Like, you buy a big thing of craft singles for, like, seven, eight bucks or something like that. Like, a big one, which is, like, 48 cheeses. Or... You can go over to the deli and get the pre-packaged ones that they sliced off of that day for, I guess, like, you get half of it for, like, maybe a dollar more than you usually. So, it'd be, like, four or five dollars for, like, a 24-pack of cheese. And it's luxury cheese. You're getting the good stuff that they, they actually chiseled off in the back instead of getting the craft cheese. And it doesn't melt properly as well. It's not even technically cheese. If you look on the back of the counter, uh, you look on the back of the cheese on the craft, it does say it's cheese product. It's not actually really cheese. It's fake. Then I put but it's okay to eat things that are fake. Like, I eat things that are fake all the time. Like, I'm not here to shit on fake food. There are tons of things that I put in my mouth that are obviously not good for you, but you still do it because you know it's all right. Like, people smoke cigarettes, people drink alcohol, you know, things that are obviously not good for you, but people do it because it's not good for you they know it's not good so don't feel bad if you're eating terrible disgusting foods just probably don't do it as much and then also don't cook your food like i'm pretty sure this seasoning on the pan is from the macaroni and cheese that she just cooked for her husband the night before i mean it, 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 the, but then again you're getting the residue you're getting the seasonings from the last food so it's not too bad just throwing the onion, onion directly on there dude i remember when i <sighs> I watched like some of Becky Jones's videos dude and it, it, it seems like in the UK do you guys just not care if the food is not like like given to you in a correct manner like the presentation of the food does that not matter to you at all because here where I live okay if somebody gave me food and I looked upon the food and it was sloppily thrown together like there was no rhyme or reason to it they just kind of tossed it on the plate I know that I would probably return it. I would look at the food and go, yeah, that's garbage. Like, this doesn't look good at all. Not appetizing. I would return it. Um, for some reason, people in the UK, I've seen this countless times, nobody cares. Like, you guys just buy the food and it can literally just be like this. An onion thrown directly on top of the cheese with no, there's nothing to it. There's just a solid onion. Can you imagine biting into this and just getting that right in there, just getting all the onion right directly in your mouth? No rhyme or reason to it. Absolutely disrespectful. But, you know, this is her husband. And usually when husbands are married to their wives, they feel bad and they're going to lie. And they're going to say, yeah, honey, it's, you know, it's, oh, it's so great. As they bite into their three inch thick onion and, <laughs> and the cheese that you just got off the shelf. It's probably been sitting in the fridge for like months. Lots of cheesy does green. Oh, two, my bad. Two, two onions. Get That's a solid onion right there, right? That's a whole onion you just got. Then I... I've never seen anybody salt grilled cheese before. I've, I put garlic powder on mine sometimes, but I don't, I don't ever salt it. Put in the onion and season with salt and pepper. He likes lots of pepper, he does. Damn, bro, that shit gonna be dry as fuck. That dude's gonna take a bite out of it, and then when he removes his mouth from it, it's gonna go... <laughs> tumbleweeds, dust, Clint Eastwood. Then I close up the sandwich, look, get it nice and closed there. And then I just give another spray. Damn, spraying the pan is serious, dude. Spraying the food with the pan? I've never seen this technique before, dude. Damn, bro. What do you think it tastes like? It's just butter. It's just butter seasoning. Of oil, because it was going a bit dry, guys. And then it was I going dry? I just cook it for another few minutes. Give it a push down. Damn, more salt is serious, bro. This The husband's got to be moving straight bricks through his veins, dude. The, this dude got to be drinking like double or triple the amount of water a day to even saturate the amount of salt this guy's getting. But at least, at least he's getting electrolytes. Make sure it's... Then no wonder why this shit's going fucking... No wonder why this shit's going dry. You're seasoning the pan with salt. You just poured salt on top of salt and now you're going... 
That's right, my, my husband loves it. He loves the salt and pepper he does. It's the best for him. So I do what my husband likes. Sauce. Just a dry onion, by the way. Not cooked, not seasoned in any way. I guess salt. And then give it one last season of salt, look. What do you mean and one last? More salt? One more minute, guys. And then it's done, look. And I know she has a spatula. I just saw her with the spatula. I don't know why she's using a spoon to retrieve the grilled cheese from the pan. And I take it out my... I just... Look at the fucking... Look at the tags. Look at this shit. For you page, for you page, viral, blue collar. She just has to mention the blue collar. Like her husband is is such, you know what I'm saying? Like he's working real hard. He's a man's man. I don't know why the tea, the cheese here has two different colors, but he's working hard and he's coming home to his wife, his beautiful, beautiful Aunt Jackie. Obviously one of the most, look at the face. Look how beautiful she is. A gorgeous specimen of human being and her culinary creations are, let's be honest here for a second. If you weren't buying his deluxe, then what are you doing, dude? This guy's getting f treated well at the house. Pan look, put it on my plate. Damn, that, that the fucking plate was already pre-greased. And then give him a bit of sauce, look. Okay, some barbecue on there. Squirt it. I've never heard somebody put barbecue sauce on a grilled cheese, but. In a heart shape, guys, to let him know how much I love him. True. So I hope you enjoy this one, guys. It's so beautiful. The romance is through the roof. Putting. A barbecue, a barbecue heart on the greasy, teflon salty onion grilled cheese. It's just true love. If you don't have somebody in your life that does this for you, puts a, puts a barbecue sauce heart on your food after they're done cooking it for you, then you're not in the correct relationship. This should be a prerequisite for any good relationship. This should be the number one thing that if, when you're on, when you're on dating apps, right? You know, sometimes when you go on dating apps, you'll have people that say restrictions cannot apply if, and then they'll have stupid shit like your car is not made before 2020. Uh, if you watch anime, don't hit me up. If you can't handle a real bitch, don't hit me up. Things like that. One of the things also should be at probably at the top. If you do not put barbecue sauce hearts on my food, do not apply. Take care for Auntie that. Jackie got it. I this is the cleanest I've ever seen her pan. I, you can actually see the bottom on this one, but uh, I've never seen can somebody let me know if you're in the UK or maybe this is not a UK thing But I've never seen this anywhere else. Why why are the beans frozen? How did you get the frozen beans exactly? Like it, did you purposely go out and get baked beans put it in like a pan or like a pot and then throw it in the freezer? Why don't they already come in cans? No, what is this like a beef stroganoff? Oh, this is probably just a TV dinner. Do you guys have TV dinners in the UK that consist with beans? I guess. Salt in it. Dude, damn, bro. Damn. Y you know, sometimes I hear, I hear people always making fun of white people. And they always go, white people don't know how to season their foods, right? I hear that a lot. And they say, you can't handle seasonings. You don't know how to handle seasonings. I've even had some people tell me, David, you can't handle seasonings. And I go, yes, I can. I can handle so many seasonings all the time. And they go, David, we're not talking about ketchup. And I always go, I know. I know you're not talking about ketchup. I, You think that I didn't know that you were talking about ketchup? I know you weren't talking about ketchup. And the fact that you thought I was th thinking about ketchup is offensive and disrespectful. So, yes, I know I can. I can handle more than just ketchup, by the way. I have hot sauce all over my house and I season my food with it all the time and if you ever robbed my house you would probably come across more hot sauce than you would actual valuable currency because that's how much hot sauce I have that's how well seasoned I am as a white man but we also have a lot of people in the white community that don't know how to season their food and this also applies to people that over season the food because there is a correct balance just because you just because you do season food like this, this doesn't mean you season food. This just means you put too much on. There's a, there's a, there's a middle ground. There's no seasoning, and then there's too much seasoning. This is like way off to the right over there. This is way too much seasoning. And she's giving, she's giving us white people a bad name, dude. I got to keep it a buck. This shit right here is the reason why black people make fun of us. Flipping beans is serious, dude. What is that? Why is there just a can over here of sausages that are open? You have to clean this kitchen like every day minimum, right? There's no way. I mean, she probably doesn't. I mean, she's not cleaning the pan. Damn, bro. 
salting back. You know, she didn't even really flip the fries either, bro. You can literally still see the residue from the salt and pepper previously. Dude, salting, I don't know how many milligrams of salt she's already put on this. At least over a gram, dude, of salt on this shit, bro. Insane amounts of salt. And pepper, of course. I just realized making my blue collar husband steak, chips, and beans after his nine hour shift. So this is steak, this right here, this abomination, this like frozen food that you probably like scraped off the side of a woolly mammoth. This is steak. I mean, I see the beans, I see the fries, but this is steak. It just looks like brown frozen. Okay. We unearthed it, I guess. It Okay, it, it, I guess it kind of looks like a little bit of, like, steak. I mean, I didn't know what it looked like before because it was inside of, like, a frozen stew. So, I get, okay, it's kind of, it's kind of steak, I guess. Damn, bro. Flipping that shit and then having it slide off to the side like that. Like, a, you see, I'll try to escape. Watch the escape technique. Oh. Oh, damn, bro. That shit, the sludge from the bottom of it <laughs> went over the side of the pan. The plate seems clean, though, this time. It looks like it melted a little bit. I think it melted because it was looking, because it was on the side here for too long, right? I think it melted. Scrape up the pan, get a little bit of that. Oh, yeah. Get that Teflon right on there. Ooh. Look at the grease. Even though this is the this is this is a spatula that you that has holes in it. So like when you pick stuff up, it drains out the bottom. Somehow the food has so much oil in it that that like I'm convinced that we're about to start like another Middle Eastern war just off this. Just off of gr Auntie Jackie's cooking. Okay, does he, do we get to cut it up a little bit? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the salt. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, obviously the salt. You got to salt it. You salt it front and back, and then you salt it again once it hits the plate. Double salted it. Making my blue-collar husband a ham and cheese toasty before his 13-hour shift. You know, you ever see those videos of people, like, when they come into work, and they have those, like, big Tupperware, like, the lunch boxes, right? I saw a whole bunch of Mexican dudes one time. I was watching a video of these guys working on a house, and these guys were, like, showing off. These luxurious, ginormous meals that their wives made for them, right? And it was beautiful. It was amazing. Now, can you imagine? You're in the group of friends, okay? And everybody's like showing off, like, "Hey guys, guess what? My bad. Oi, guys, look what my look what my lovely Cheryl made for me." Opens it up, toasties, right? Beautiful Nando's, right? Even if it was Mickey D's, and they go, "Hey, uh, hey, Jimmy." What did Aunt Jackie make for you? And you're like, oh, I mean, you know, she always make me something good. It's always something good. Uh, I don't really, you know, you don't have to see it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, it's fine. Like, I already ate it. No, come on, bro. Show us. Show us what it is. Come on, show us what it is. And you open it up, and you just hear the sound from SpongeBob. You know that, like, noise when it smells really bad? It's like, mmm. That noise? Maybe you heard a sound bite of it. But it's like that. Because Auntie Jackie never fails on making any of her food almost completely unedible. You could have just gave him bread and I feel like the bread would have been better. Salting the bread is crazy, dude. That is serious. You guys got to think about how much salt is already in the oil that's been sitting there for probably even weeks. And you, I, I know people actually that when they fry foods, it's I get it when you're frying foods, maybe you can let the oil sit for a little bit. I know some dudes that let the oil sit for weeks. Like they'll have the oil in the pan and they'll put like a cover on it, but usually they don't have a cover on top of the act, like an actual cover for the, the pot. So they'll just use like a plate or something like that. And they'll just let the, the oil ferment in there for a few days and even a week. And they'll throw the fries in whenever they, whenever they want to. And that fermented grease that's been sitting there for weeks at a time. And I wouldn't put it past Aunt Jackie for having that same type of recipe, dude. But salting, salting just regular white bread, that's serious. And pepper, of course. The pepper on white bread is not as bad as the salt, but it's moving. Couldn't, don't you have a toaster? Couldn't you, do, this is an oven, right? You couldn't just like toss it into the oven to warm it up. Why do you have to, why do you have to broil it? Like, why do you have to cook it on the oil? 
just just for the extra calories like he's working for 19 hours so this meal has to have like 20,000 calories in it <laughs> damn bro it's just <laughs> just tossing the ham on that shit is crazy bro like you don't love your husband if you're tossing a ham like that dude damn damn what is salt i knew it i knew it bro the pepper too Ah, uh, i wanted to see what it looked like on that side it looked black dude this pan is fucking dust there was oil on this ship and now it's completely black it's charcoal on the bottom now she's gonna have to get that spray she's gonna get more of that spray dude that smoke detector's going off bro look at the pan it was a river it was a river in the pan when we first started look hold up hold up it was a river dude look how much oil is in the pan and then look what it turned into complete black like the stuff that you you know how they they would find like dinosaurs nowadays in like tar pits or whatever this is what they find dinosaurs in like this is just tar complete black tar but you know what at least you got a woman in your life cooking you good quality delicious meals you can't you can't you can't fault jackie for that okay she's actually trying i mean she's not trying hard but flip it bro i want to see what it looks like on that other side dude because i think it's like completely black <laughs> it's all in one i know that shit is black bro look at the side of this shit bro I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a solid buck with you. If we're starting the video and you're showing me a TV dinner, dude, what is up with this woman not washing the plate? Like, how 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 long does it take to wash a plate? Like a plate like this, dude, just give it a quick once over with like a cloth and some some soap is good. Why is this the 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 plate is already covered in grease? Making my blue collar husband homemade tomato. <laughs> homemade tomato pasta after his 13 hour shift this man be working way too hard to come home for these tv dinners man it would be better if you just threw it in a microwave instead of just sitting here salting lubing up the pan giving him that good teflon if somebody's actually eating this lord help them taken literally like decades off the life damn this woman literally just she has to be going through like I don't even know, dude. Like big giant things of salt. She has to be going like five or six, five or six of those a, a month, dude. Easily. Damn. <laughs> Gotta salt that side too. Woo! Woo! Damn. I just I'm I just love the clumps. Do you know when you shake, sometimes I'll have holes, right? So you get like a good amount. You know, so you can like gauge where you're going. I don't think she does that. I don't think that there's like a, I don't think there's holes. I think she just pops open the cap and she just pours it out. Because like, look at the clumps. There's, it's just like literal mountains of pepper and salt. Have you, have you ever heard somebody say, hold up, let me real quick, let me real quick, let me flip my tomato pasta real quick in the pan. Have you ever heard somebody say that? I've heard people say like, oh yeah, I'm going to flip the burger. I've never heard somebody say, let me flip the tomato, the tomato sauce and pasta. I've never heard that. Pasta and garlic bread. <laughs> I just, I'm wondering. Damn, bro. Scraping that shit. Yo, it's got enough. It's got enough. What are you just salting bread for no reason? Y you know what? Seeing Auntie Jackie cook for as long as she has, you know, sometimes you look upon the plate and you go, this looks presentable. Like, if you looked at this from a far away distance, you might think it was all right. You get what I'm talking about? Like, this doesn't look inherently bad on its own. But when you saw her cooking it, that was the problem. When you saw her, like, glazing it, 
with salt and pepper endlessly and cooking it in mountains of oil and then salting that. Then you would realize like, oh, and then you realize also it's not homemade. It's just a TV dinner. It's just like a Stouffer's or something. Oof. Oh my God, there's so much grease. Yeah, your husband ain't make off. Oh, Got to salt it again, huh? Damn, I think she salted it twice, and then she put the bread in there, and then she salted it again, and now she's salting it again. So that means four times this shit was hit with the salt. Like, when you eat this, your mouth is just going to go... Because it's so... There's so much sodium on this. Salt in the bread is crazy. All right, look. There's very few ways to fuck up a burger. There are almost... It's almost impossible to fuck up a burger. I'm already looking upon some really big fuck-ups. Like, giant... Like, the amount of grease stain in the pan already. I think that... Th th I think this, like... This is a signature for the pan. This crustacean, this growth on the corner here. I don't know why... We have the bun in the pan. I've heard of toasted in buns, but I've never heard of, like having it boil in the grease. Damn. <laughs> nah, bro. You're gonna need gloves to eat this. Okay. Damn. Where the cheese? <laughs> ah, bro. Didn't even let it cook. Oh, she got the fries in there too. It. It's such an anomaly because I don't know if this is real or not. Like, I hope it's not real. I hope this is just, like, a big gag. Like, I hope this is just her putting on a show. Like, ah, nah, this is just a joke. But there's so many videos like this on her TikTok. And she's wasting so much food. Like, if you go through her entire talk, she has, like, hundreds of videos dedicated to making her saint of a husband working hours upon end throughout the day for his woman, by the way. And she has to come home to this slop-ass food. Like, I don't know if this is real. I hope it's not. I hope this is just like rage bait so people can watch this and go, oh my God, so much ridiculousness. I love that she puts like the chef too, the little chef emoji, just to show off that she's a chef. Those are not cooked, bro. They're still frozen, right? The smaller ones are probably cooked. What are we thinking about the burger and fry? Give me an honest, okay. <sighs> Write in the comment section, burger and fries, and give me the, the result on what you guys think about the burger and fry when it comes to the, would you eat it? On a scale of one to 10, how good is this food? There, there's almost no way to fuck up a burger and fry, especially if you're starting from a frozen patty, because frozen patties are already pre-made. You don't even have to like shape out the meat and then like contour it to the pan. You don't have to do that. It's already pre-made for you. And somehow you still fucked it up, right? There's no way. This gotta be. This gotta be 100 rage bait. There's no way Auntie Jackie is out here making these concoctions, these outrageous delicacies for her husband just to come home and see this shit, bro. I mean, look at this shit. The cheese doesn't even look like it's real cheese. This looks like that fake shit that you would give to like children when they're like two or three years old to make like fake foods. You know what I'm talking about? So they have like an idea of how foods work and how they cook and stuff like that. This looks like that. The bun looks like it was aged. It touched the pan. It looks like it's like five or six years old now. And I'm 100% sure these fries are cold. She just threw them in there for like five minutes and now they're... Okay, whatever, Aunt Jackie. Gotta salt them again, obviously. Did she salt the burger? Oh, there's ketchup. Wow. Ketchup. That guy, that's. I don't know why it's so soupy. It looks like it's been left out for a while, but... Ketchup, not bad, right? Chunky... Sorry, chicken, meatballs, and tomato sauce. Dude, this shit right here on the pan is her calling side, okay? Every video she does, 
this pan has never been cleaned before. I promise there's no way. If you're going to wash a pan, why would you still leave this this like fermentation spot here? The fucking, you know the spores from The Last of Us? Right here, dude. This is the inception. Like, this is patient X that we're looking at right now. I don't know how you, it's spaghetti in a can. It's meatball spaghetti in a can. And you're going to cook it up in a pan? Okay. Damn. Damn. Oh, <gasps> with the ramen is serious, dude. Throwing the ramen, uncooked ramen, uncooked ramen in a pan of oil next to meatballs. That's serious, dude. Making my blue collar husband classic meatball spaghetti after a 13 hour shift. I've never seen somebody use ramen noodles as the the noodles for the for the for the spaghetti and meat i've never seen that in my life this is some next level shit right here salt in it yeah i mean you know it's not as if these needles already don't have a lot of salt but salted them up even more beautiful i don't know what that is chocolate maybe some chocolate uh i don't know what that is ketchup is that ketchup hold up tomato ketchup she's gonna put some ketchup on the she's gonna put ketchup on the uh the food that's okay all right damn damn bro that's a lot like there are ways to cook right like there are ways that you can cook food i don't even know why you wouldn't put this in a pot like you can easily boil this and have it edible after you know I don't, how long does it take to cook ramen? Like five minutes, maybe? Less than that, probably? You could have easily just had that to the side and just put the spaghetti and meatballs on that. I mean, granted, it still would have been disgusting. But the fact that you're throwing it into the same pan you're cooking the meatballs in. And by the way, the meatballs are already pre-cooked. They were in a can of SpaghettiOs or whatever the fuck that was. And you're cooking it in the oil, too. Basil? Damn. Damn. Damn, shit's as hard as fuck, dude. That shit, that dude's about to eat literal raw ramen. If you have to cut up the noodles, bro, I think there's an issue. Salt in it. Damn. Getting it all over the fucking stove. She does a good job, actually, retrieving it out. Sometimes I see people, when they try to get the food out of the pan, sometimes it falls over the side. But Jackie actually has a pretty good technique down. Oh. 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 <laughs> Grated cheese. Kill it. Just throw it all on there. Oh, you're being real liberal with that cheese, dude. You might as well just toss it in there. It doesn't even matter, dude. You literally killed this shit with salt and pepper. You might as well just kill it with the cheese. The cheese might actually make it edible. There's no... Auntie Jackie is a beautiful human being, okay? She's wonderful. She's delightful. She's an elegant human being. She makes her husband that works tremendous amounts of hours in the UK... It's... I'm not gonna lie to you. This might be worse. This might be, like, the worst meals I've ever seen ever. But I've seen some pretty bad meals, right? Um, at least when people eat in the UK, most of the time it's like fast food and then like, I guess, brown stuff. But this is on a different level. Like this is a, I've never seen somebody cook food like this. This is a, this is definitely an oddity. I think it's probably not real. I mean, there's no way somebody could look like that, right? How old is Auntie Jackie? Like she got to be like 32, 33 years old, bro. Taking care of her beautiful husband. I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, a different video. For the first time so let me know what you guys think down below about this particular type of video if you like this particular type of video let me know uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in sparkles because i have some right here these beautiful uh halloween hide and eek glitter you can glitterify yourself you can make yourself bedazzled i don't do that though because i'm a masculine man and i don't wear glitter okay and that's uh that's not something i do don't ask why i have that stuff but anyway guys um you're beautiful people uh if you watch the video in its entirety uh like comment subscribe sharing the video it helps me grow in the algorithm so if you can do that stuff for me i'd appreciate you i would appreciate you tremendously 
If you uh, want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord. All that stuff will be linked in the description down below and the description of the channel. All you got to do is click on the about on all that stuff and you'll see the link of all these stuff. They'll, they'll be easily labeled. By the way, everybody here, you're an amazing person. You smell really good today. You have amazing skincare. The socks you're wearing match you perfectly. I love the way your eyebrows are perfectly contoured to your face shape. That looks really, really great. I also like that you took the time today to indulge in water to ensure that on a hot summer day or wherever you're living, maybe you live in like Eastern Europe or something like that, where it's like 40 degrees out or something like that, but it doesn't matter. Drinking water is incentive regardless. You're a beautiful specimen of human being and taking care of yourself is super important. I want to take a moment to appreciate Davina. She's beautiful today. Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 